Hey guys, how's it going? Brother Arcanine here with another Pokemon Let's Go OU Showdown Battle plus Team Builder plus me, barely speaking English. Okay, so today we've got um, a team that I call Get Your Head in the Game. Uh, and as you can see, it's Pokemon with uh, all numerous heads. I wanted to do it with all the three-headed ones, but then I ran out of three-headed Pokemon because you can't have, like, regular Doug Trio as well as the Lowland Doug Trio for some reason, even though they're different mons. Somebody explain why we can't do that. Anyways, and then yeah, I, I wanted to use other Doug Trio and other Executor and have the full team of three heads, but had to settle for the Kangaskhan and Weezing, which have two heads each. Is what it is. Uh, if there is another Pokemon with three heads that I could have used, don't let me know, because then I'll feel real stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Let me know if you want. So we got Doug Trio Alola as our stealth rocker, pretty much the only option. Uh, made it jolly. Wanted it to be fast. Make sure we get up those stealth rocks. Uh, if there's an opposing one that has. Do you get taunt? Question mark. No. Good. Yeah. In case they don't have taunt, <laughs> or they have speed earthquake and kill us, is what it is. So anyways, yeah, earthquake obviously being a great move. Um, your steel stab is, I believe. Since you don't have Iron Head Flash Cannon. Yeah. So, uh, obviously no Steel Stab. But uh, Rock Slide, great for, you know, uh, flying mons that are going to come in and uh, be able to not be affected by your Earthquake. And then for all those mons that are at speeding you, even though you're timid and 110 speed, um, obviously good for uh, Alakazam and, and Gengar, Mega Gengar, uh, both Megas. Barely speak in English. Our next boy. Um, I can't remember if this is the exact set, but I was watching PokemonMD's video. Shout out. Uh, he had the Swords Dancing Dodrio, and I was just like... I mean, I was watching a lot of his videos to get in the mood, but I was just like, yeah, this Dodrio makes me want to make a team. Uh, <laughs> so I threw him on... I actually had another team. Uh, I am digressing. But anyways, basically, yeah, I have Thrash on here. Um, jump kick drill pack, but here I opted to get rid of the uh, thrash so we could have the substitute just to try something different because I already had tried the Dodrio. I think that at least that I showed you was his. Um, so, anyways, yeah, uh, speed because that's what we want. We're going to be swords dancing up plus substituting, so we, we don't need to be adamant. Uh, and then jump kick, uh, just great for like Meltan. Um, and other uh, bulky, like steel types, uh, rock types, things that you're not going to be able to uh, deal with very well with your, your flying stab. Uh, next we got Magneton. <laughs> yeah, uh, double, double status kind of deal, because um, you don't have a Volt Switch in this generation. So, and he's, you know, Earthquake's a thing, so, and, and slow. So I figured I didn't want to make him some substituting thing. I mean, I make him a substituting thing if he had any way of boosting, but he doesn't have any way of boosting. No charge or anything. So, uh, yeah, just his dual stab. Flash cannon plus thunderbolt plus he was a mono three heads and had 120 special attack. So here you go. There you go. There we go. Um, basically, Venusaur minus protect and add psychic. So double stab there. Um, I had him defensive because we also saw what that U-turn damage did. Um, but honestly, like run him special attack or you know whatever you want to do, or special defense if you want. I just kind of threw it on there, and as I look at it, I'm like, why wouldn't I just be <laughs> a different nature? Um, but yeah, mess around, do what you want. This is what it is. You'll see how well I did in a minute. Um, so here, uh, it will say that he's an Uber, but you can use him. Like, you can also use Mega Gengar, by the way. He's not going to show up here. It's Or rather, it's going to say like Uber beside him, and it's going to say Illegal beside Mail Metal. But you can use them in the OU thing. The only ones you can't use are all the Mewtwo's, including his Megas. So anyways, Earthquake, just because it's strong as hell. Saw it just because Will Wisp and Burns are a thing. Fake out because Stab. He doesn't get his, you know, double hit thing in this generation. So just making him adamant because he needs it. Um, and the Sucker Punch because... We're not making him plus speed. And good for um, 
those those types of mons that we can't hit too well with uh, either of these moves. Anyways, our last mon here, uh, super utility mon, uh, no pain split in this gen. So, uh, will o wisp explosion, yep, taunt and toxic. Uh, just kind of threw it together, guys. It is what it is. It. Uh, we'll see how well it did uh, in just a second here. So, uh, without further ado or digressions or me thinking of English words, here we go. All right. So, leading off here with the little Doug trio, even though I know he's probably going to lead with the Bollyrath, I'm like, it doesn't matter. I just want my rocks up to deal with this Dragonite plus Sapto situation. Uh, and obviously just going right down to the waterfall is what it is. Now we're going to go Magneton here. And do I predict with this flash cannon? No. <laughs> but that would have been pretty sweet, eh? Um, so yeah, here I go for flash cannon. And again, some reason for flash cannon. Oh, predicting his ride on. But it ends up his brilliant play doesn't really work out here. Um, of him going for Fire Blast, I don't know if it would have KO'd me. It's a good chance, though. Uh, plus, it could have burned me and withered me down maybe after that. But anyways, yeah, just uh, his play didn't work out, unfortunately. Sorry about that, miss my friend Alligator69. <laughs> um, and yeah, there I went for Thunderbolt because I thought... He would try and save his muck, maybe, for whatever reason, as a sack, perhaps, and he would go Polyraph, who double resists, and then Polyraph would, you know, start fucking my shit up. Anyways, goes uh, Dragonite on the Magneton, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try <laughs> and uh, Thunder Wave you here, but obviously at the Earthquake, I thought he was going to Agility, so I decided to uh, go Thunder Wave. But that didn't turn out for me. So here I'm going to go for uh, the Will-O-Wisp, which uh, misses. Luckily he goes right on, but unluckily I have to waste the turn burning him. Uh, now I'm kind of like feeling like I'm a turn behind here. And I have nothing at that point that I can do, I realize. Because I, I can explode, but it's going to do like four to a ride on. So switching out to Executor here, because now I can uh, you know, scare him out. Thinking I have Mega Drain, and I end up going for the Leech Seed, doing that whole thing. Used to it with the Venusaur. Uh, he U turns, we can see how much less damage that did, right? 57%, where if you'll remember from my last video, uh, I did 70% to an Executor. So having a plus defense nature really does make a huge difference there, obviously. Um, and then for some reason, decides to go into Rhydon, is what it is. Um, and then I decide, okay, I'm just going to stay in and try to destroy him with <laughs> Leech Seeds. Uh, suck his health, because I think I can I can live whatever. Uh, and then he's just going to start U-turning around. Good show, good show. And Rhydon's obviously a good option. Um, not wanting to take the Earthquake, I'm going into Executor. At this point, he's probably figured out that I don't have Mega Drain. Um, so he decides to stay in. But I did have Psychic, so down you go. He sends in the Polyrath, he's going to outspeed, but he's not going to kill me, and I'm going to kill him. What is good? Hello, Executor. Um, so obviously, <laughs> uh, Alexander breathes hard enough in the right direction, and Executor goes down. Uh, now we're going to be able to come in and start doing our whole fake-out thing with Mega Kangaskhan, um, which is pretty much the plan at this point, because I'm going to need to deal with... Uh, Mega Alakazam, some off, I think, because Mega Alakazam is going to obviously be able to Oko Weezing with Psychic, and probably also Dodrio, who's not the bulkiest Mon. Plus, got the rocks up now, so we're coming in 75%. So I need Kangaskhan to uh, start wearing down things. With, with Fake Out and stuff, we need to get rid of the Dragonite because he still has a pretty good chance of winning the game here. Um, so anyways, I decided to just go for Facade. Um, at this point, obviously, it really can't be staying with Kangaskhan. I decided to just sack the Weezing, obviously, because Weezing was never going to be able to do anything. Um, and then here, go Kangaskhan. Uh, do my Fake Out, do my damages. Uh, then sack the Dodrio 
We're coming in uh, just barely alive with uh, Kangaskhan. Uh, hoping for a roll here with the fake out. Uh, don't get it. Obviously it lives on two. And then we're able to just sucker punch here. I was thinking, did he have Calm Mind or whatever? Um, oh, it didn't show up here. Yeah, we had a whole conversation after the match. Um, just saying, like, you didn't have Calm Mind or whatever? He's like, no, I had Calm Mind, but, like, I didn't know if I should pro play or not. And it was kind of like a catch-22 for him, right? You know, it was like if if I didn't have Sucker Punch or didn't go for it and he went for Calm Mind, he threw the game. But then if he clicks Psychic or whatever when he has Calm Mind and I have Sucker Punch, then he, he throws the game. So it was kind of like, yeah, he had to know I had Sucker Punch for sure and I hadn't revealed it at that point. Um, and then it would have been, like, trying to get lucky for up to eight, nine turns, right? Uh, so it is what it is. Real close game is what it came down to. Uh, and really fun match. So thanks, bro. All right, so we got our next game here. Again, just leading off my Dug Trio. Um, seeing that one of these two are probably going to be their lead, because Stealth Rocks. Um, and luckily it's the Needle Queen. I decide to go in with Stealth Rocks. We do our little trade. I do my Earthquake. Goodbye. Nice to see you, Needle Queen. Don't care about the crit. Nice to see ya. Pidgeot's coming in. Uh, sidebar, I don't think Pidgeot is at all good. <laughs> in Let's Go OU, he doesn't have no guard anymore. So Hurricane, which is basically what a Mega Pidgeot is, is, is irrelevant. Uh, and then also, you know, we don't. I don't know. We didn't get to see it do anything because Alone Dark Trio is just too good. Look, that's two kills already, and he's still at 100% health. And he got our Stealth Rocks up. This Pokemon's amazing. I'm gonna keep it around. I'm gonna go Exagator. I'm gonna get hit by a Fake Out when I thought I was gonna get hit by a Scald. Is what it is. And I get hit by an Aqua Jet when I thought I was gonna get hit by a Dark Pulse. But it is what it is. It goes for Ice Beam, finally throwing out a move that actually does damage to me. But from now, I finally get my Sleep Powder on. So we're in good shape here. Not really, Executor is going to die. Um, but yeah, get the Leaf Seed on. Decide to just sack Executor. <laughs> but uh, obviously not giving me that option on that turn. I, if I hadn't have paired there, I probably would have taken him out with my uh, Psychic, but it is what it is. And now we're just getting back the health that we lost. Ooh, yeah. Thunder Waves? Thunder Waves, yeah. Pro play there. I thought I had him there with just like the sucker punch, but I, I completely forgot about the thunder wave and probably should have just gone into one of my two immunities. But it is what it is. Uh, sucks to have obviously this para happening because it makes it, you know, a 25% chance that my priority is effectively useless. So good play with the thunder wave. Um, but in the end, obviously, we're, we're able to uh, <coughs> live through that twice. Get our little finger majigger back there. Bit of health. Uh, what words am I saying? For some reason, <laughs> he taunts me, but it is what it is. Um, I'm deciding to stay in because at this point, I'm thinking Kangaskhan's pretty much done the work it can do. It's it's paralyzed, and uh, Fake Out's only doing so much to the, the bulky mons that he has left. So I'm just going to go in and facade and waste his reflex until. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so now he's got Sleepy Stories coming in on me. I don't know what he's got. Sleep Talk? Even though it's not in this generation? Maybe. Um, <laughs> for some reason going for Fake Out. I don't know why. But it was funny that that makes my Sucker Punch fail. So maybe that was his professional professional play. Um, wasting a move with glitches. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Earthquake. Almost KO and Mach, but not quite. But then the Sucker Punch does. So yeah, Megas Khan is Khan. <laughs> no, what the what the words? Uh, Mega Kangaskhan just cleaning up there. Really amazing stuff. Um, I know he's like an Uber or whatever, uh, which kind of doesn't fit on this whole goofy team that I have going on. But yeah, I mean, I I I without his ability of like having the extra little quarter damage or whatever with his ability, uh, I really thought Mega Kangaskhan would be pretty crappy. So I'm I'm surprised it was actually doing as much work as it did uh, throughout these battles. So here, leading um, for a little Jack Trio, I'm thinking um, you will probably be like the only Mon that can set up Stealth Rocks, that or uh, Mel Metal. 
Uh, does Mel Metal even get stealth rocks? Let me check for you guys. No, doesn't get stealth rocks. Yeah, so thinking that Mew is the only one who can uh, use stealth rocks, just leading off the Dougie, because we'd naturally at speed get up our stealth rocks, even if they have the taunt. And yeah, I was really willing to die to the metal metal just to get rocks up. They're good against uh, his whole... It's good to get chip on his whole team, and we do 25% to two of his team members. So, uh, seeing that this is another utility mod, I try to go for the taunt a little late, obviously, a little belatedly. Um, I don't know why I decided to switch into Dodrio when I forced it to be able to... Um, only use attack moves. Kind of a weird thing to do there. I probably should have just uh, exploded on it, but it is what it is. Um, so Dodrio is just going to do like a tiny amount of damage. See, I'd see, I'd tiny, tiny damage. Uh, but now Executor can come in, and we're doing the work out here. We resist him. We sludge bomb him. We barely <laughs> die him. Um, thinking, yeah, he's going to roost here. I decided to go for a leech seed, and I'm like, good because I've seen the kind of damage you can do to me, so I might as well just get some health back if you're going to be healing. Uh, and then I can go for Psychic there, not wanting, obviously, him to come in with that, this Mon. Uh, and seeing that I'm going to be getting KO'd here, do the same thing as before, Sleep Powder, Lead Seed, is what it is. Mel Metal is really slow, so using techniques like this is really good for getting around him if you don't have an Arcanine or whatever. A, a designated Mel Metal counter. Uh, so yeah, Mel Metal keeps coming in for whatever reason. I decided to just go double Psychic, try to hit KO it. I'm going to go Psychic again here on the Zapdos. And uh, not wanting to take the U-turn damage, I just go Weezing. And here, uh, going Magneton, predicting a Psychic. I think he predicts that and goes Shadow Ball. Nope, nope, but look at that damage. Disgusting. Um, and now, yeah, again, my only plays around Alakazam here are really to just, like, come in and do Fake Out, and you can probably sense what's going on here. He's got too many Mons left for me to be able to win with uh, the Fake Out measures and just what I have left. Um, going into Weezing here, the play being to just kind of boom on this thing uh, for damage. But he uh, obviously outspeeds, does my whole thing with the Sleep Powder uh, plus Leech Seed, and is able to uh, kill us before we can boom on it, which really sucks. Uh, but then we do get Eggy in. Uh, we can go for our Psychic, if he didn't kill us. And now we're basically Kang's Khan versus the world. Um, I decided to play it out just, you know, for good sportsmanship, but it's pretty obvious how this whole thing's going to go. When I get the crit there, I'm actually like, oh, maybe I can win this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, now I'm seated against three mons still. If only that was the status condition, because that would have been some fairly decent damage there. If that was the status condition, I would have been doing 60%. Yeah, try to beat me then. Then I probably <laughs> had a pretty good chance of winning, actually. Uh, is what it is, though. Um, put in the work. Good game. Uh, lots of fun. Fufu Dino. Is that the name? Sure. Um, so anyways, yeah, fun games, fun times. Uh, I'm going to do some more in the future uh, just for fun skis. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be recording again, getting back into it, even if the quality is not great or whatever. It's just nice to be to be doing it again. I've been focusing a lot on work lately. I'm writing a book right now. Um, so things are good, but uh, yeah, just missing having fun playing Mons uh, and hanging out with uh, Alakazam, Abracadabra Alakazam. My buddy Tyski. Uh, so yeah, it's been good getting back into it. So thanks everybody for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Peace out.